Alright everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more Heavy Rain. My name is Jorna. That's J-O-A-R-N-A. -A. We just found a business card for the Blue Lagoon. And it was funny, as that, uh... After we, uh, got out of the basement and started looking around, it seems like... Again, it's all like... The game itself is actually shorter if you do everything correctly. Like, it seemed like you got out of the basement and, like, you just casually walked around his apartment. I have a feeling that if I didn't drink the alcohol... You know, I, I would have been given the opportunity to walk around his apartment, you know, scot-free, and the same thing would have happened. But the difference is that now it slowed me down. Alright, so we're at the junkyard here. I don't know what we're looking for. Last time we saw a good old detective, he was, uh, freeing Ethan. What am I looking for? Oh my god, I thought that was Mike Tyson at first. But you won't. Mom and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Alright, fucker. I'm not feeling this guy. This guy just like looks pissed I'm a off at life. Of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from. Me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this guy. Bad memory for me. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for. You're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Pistol whip him. Oh, it's time for the Microsoft HoloLens. That blood here. It's an excellent question. Well, that's a skull. Someone sneaking up behind me. I got a feeling quick time events coming up. Fuck. Tut tut, no dice, Inspector Asshole. Don't even think about it. Fuck you. No, no, my fucking HoloLens. I had to pay a lot of good money for that. <laughs> Either, like, I'm I'm fucking Neo from the Matrix, or this guy is slow as fuck. Get the gun, get the gun, get the gun, get the gun. He got the gun, which is all that matters. Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Um... Persist? No time to lose, Jack. I want to know who that car belongs to. What you want don't mean shit to me. I ain't no snitch. You better just lock me up now, boy. Boy. Uh, I guess let's try the gasoline you like method. Fireworks, Jack. 
Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident cause you won't barely be able to talk, will ya, Jack? You crazy motherfucker, you out of your mind, man! No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon in the car. Was oh, it's all it's all tying all together at the Blue Lagoon. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrast. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. Uh oh. Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be. <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Fucking. R1, X, L1, circle, triangle. Oh, uh, my fingers. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Goddamn twister for your fingers. Holy fuck, that was insane. Oh, he's trying to be funny. That was literally every button with the exception of square. <laughs> I've unlocked a new bonus. Makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Then you suspect see. Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means. Not to mention the fucking. Just, <laughs> to go along with I can. Him. I can sit he's anywhere. Suspect, <laughs> he's a pretty guilty-looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami. You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? Why not? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have any? Why? Food? Why was his tie like floating well, in no midair? But I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go in my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Okay, gotta cook some eggs. I literally have like an egg. There <laughs> are two eggs. Okay, get the plate. Oh, the fry pan, okay. Nope. There you go. Throw a little cheese, a little butter. I like mine with a little pepper. Oh. Let me turn it on. How did I fuck that up? Really? I go can I go peek on her? Ah oh, dang. Oh, guess the eggs are done. Eggs should be ready by now. Literally seconds later.
Wow, they're not even scrambled. It's like a half an omelet type thing. Um, okay, so do I have to go get her? Oh, there she is. Hey, eggs are ready. Your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Have, have a seat, Sheriff. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts. It's a pretty soft lead, 30 clients. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one. That's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lauren, wait. Lauren, eat the fucking eggs. I just made you eggs, girl. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribes to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Why are you sitting on my desk? Oh, Lauren... I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. This guy's a real good PI. Uh, yeah, I mean, if they're fucking, I guess if they're kind of similar. What about the... You know, I made you eggs. They, they were, those were my last two eggs. Police work! Is there not supposed to be audio there, I'm assuming? The only guy whose name is on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Pick up his coffin and make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. I really hope that part, like, was supposed to be, uh, muted out. Okay, John Shepard. Looking for John Shepard. I have a feeling that this woman has something to do with it. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for... Uh, well, don't worry about her. I can manage alone. Okay. I mean, it's... It says, it says this guy. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further out. Thanks. 20 bucks says that guy's the killer. Billy Jones. So straight ahead. Yeah, because there's no way they could possibly. Take it easy. The dead don't mind. There, yeah, because there's no way it could possibly be in that other plot. Did I say Maurice Edwards? Why does that name sound familiar? A Maria Edwards. Bradley Anderson. Eugene Young. Children's plot, okay. Let's go down this way a little bit more. Chris Walker. Stephanie Baker. God, just being here is depressing. Dean King. That name sounds familiar too. Ryan Rodriguez. Ruth Morris. Is there another one over here? Rose Stewart. They're 
Carl Allen. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Is this it? Please be the one. Alright. I found it. Someone left flowers recently. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. The guy only looks like he's like 30 years old. It was in 77. October, I think. Uh oh. Time for a flashback. Yeah, go for nothing, hoodlin. Get the hell out of here. Go on, beat it. You lousy, no good brat. Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. You wanna go cause race riots? Okay. Come on, let's go play. Bitch can't catch me. Am I supposed to follow him? Okay, I am. Alright, well I'm gonna pause it right here, guys. We'll pick it up in the next episode. My name's been Jorna, that's J-O-A-R-N-A. I'll see y'all next time.